While the governor is up on Mackinac Island for the policy conference, she's also expected to sign the new auto insurance bill. It's been sold as a way for you to see your insurance bills go down. But by how much and when? We sent our local four business editor Rod Maloney out in search of some answers. And Rod, what did you find out? Well, uh, I found out that you may be a little disappointed here. Now, this is my car. It's a minivan. This is how much I'm paying a year on this car alone, okay? Right, my wife and daughter have a car as well. 1600 bucks is my annual note for this on the insurance. The assurance that I've been given is that I can expect a 10% reduction or $160 for certain. After that, there may be savings, but we're not sure exactly what that's going to look like. As things stand right now, the governor doesn't have the bill just yet. She's expected to sign when she does. It goes into effect as soon as the ink dries, but by all accounts, you won't see savings right away at all. July 1st of 2020 is when the mandatory 10% rate decrease gets enforced. That's also the date that the mandatory fee schedule for medical rates goes into effect, but that has a three year phase in from then and they haven't even set the rates yet, so those savings aren't coming for a while either. So for many of us, it's another year of sky high rates with relief much farther down the line. Meantime, the personal injury protection goes to four levels. Unlimited remains, but not mandatory, and you should save about 10% on average, or about $120. At 500,000 pip, you'll see an average of a $240 rate cut per year on average. $250,000, you'll see a 35% rollback, or a savings of about $420 a year. There's a $50,000 level, and you'd say 45% or about $540 a year on average, and a complete opt-out saves you $1,200 a year. But reducing your PIP coverage is a double-edged sword and a bit of a gamble here. If you're a senior on Medicare, that comes with lifetime disability benefits, and PIP coverage is really redundant for you, so you can comfortably opt out. But if you have your own health insurance or it's through your job, you need to check with your health insurance company to see if it covers disability or not. Many do not. And if it doesn't, you're going to want to decide whether unlimited or even a lesser benefit is the right answer for you. So you want to ask, is your insurance primary or secondary in automobile accidents? That's the question to ask. The answer is secondary. You've got that quandary you have to deal with. Back to you. Rod, what's it like for other states when it comes to PIP coverage, by the way? Well, you know, it's interesting. The highest state next to Michigan is New York at $250,000. But what they're saying is that, like, like in Ohio, um, if you get to a PIP coverage situation and it's capped at, say, $100,000, you don't end up out on the street. There is still some coverage for you there. And so they believe that in that instance, there are savings to be had. But by the time we get to the full uh, you know, ramp up for the fee schedule on PIP, um, you're, you're looking at three or four years down the line. So it's still going to be a long time before you see the savings you were hoping to see. Yeah, and people have been waiting long enough. All right. Thanks, Rod.